367, thank you. So the first thing to recognize, folks, that it's hypothesis testing. It's hypothesis testing. It's not a confidence interval. It's not a probability. It's not a verbal question. They're asking you number 20, number 45 to come up with a hypothesis testing. Your first decision you have to make is it, one is, it one is it one sample or two samples? In other words, is it chapter nine or chapter 10? And if you read through the question carefully, there's only one, we're talking about one population of one sample. It's clearly not chapter 10, so the basic structure is right. The next thing you have to ask yourself, is it a Z or a T? But you don't have to ask yourself that really in this clip because we're only having T's on the chapter nine hypothesis testing. There's no Z hypothesis testing on the test. The, the last and important question you have to ask yourself, is it going to be one of those directional ones, like genus seems to apply, or will it be equal versus not equal? We have to ask ourselves, is it equal versus not equal? And since the question itself talks about, has the population delivery time been reduced? That's clearly a hint that we're talking about a direction. So uh, her basic structure is correct. The only quibble might be, maybe she got it backwards. So let's see. Is there evidence the population has been reduced below 25? Well, thank God for everybody to show you how this is correct. The mu below 25, because is there evidence means we're talking about the H1. So we're talking, is the average reduced below 25 is definitely correct. And the status quo is that it's the same as before, 25 or even worse than 25. So this is perfectly correct. Step number two, you plug it into this little formula and you pick the right formula. And I'm assuming her calculations are correct. Um, and there's a minus sign here. The final answer should be minus, minus 2.6, assuming she did it correctly. So step number two, you can verify. Did you check the back of the book? Okay. Oh, wait, that's what I'm But anybody else get the Anybody else with number 45 who can verify? I'm pretty sure it's correct. It's a pretty simple formula, but let's give her the benefit of the doubt. It comes out to minus 2.6, step number three. Step number four to make the picture. Um, uh, the picture will be, first we'll label it T just to be on the same side. Secondly, the rejection region is only on the left, because the arrow is pointing to the left. You don't have to think about it anymore why it works, just memorize the rule, it goes to the left. And this should be labeled reject A0. And anything to the right of the number is reject A0. The degree of freedom is uh, 36 minus 1, or 35. And if you go to column number, what's the, what's the alpha here? 0.05. If you go to the alpha of 0.05, go down to row number 35 you're going to see minus 1.6883, which I believe is correct. And fine, so step number three ends up with basically the number minus 1.6883. And step number four is, which is the easiest but the most important step, is to um, compare the number you've got over here to the boundary. Now, where is minus 2.6? Minus 2.6 is even more negative than 1.6. Therefore, you're in the reject region. So first of all, he says correctly to reject a zero. But now what does that mean to the question? Is there evidence the average is below 25? Yes, we just proved that the H1 is right. The average is below 25. We rejected the H0, which means we proved the H1, and the average is below 25. Folks, I'll, I'll 